Hi, this is uh, going to be a teardown of this Polaroid uh, camera light. Uh, this thing's been shutting off randomly when I uh, do videos, and it's been kind of annoying, so I'm finally getting around to tearing it apart. I've already taken the screws out. Let's take a look at the back so you can see what this thing looks like. I'm trying to see if there's a model number on it anywhere. There's not. It cost about... Uh, hundred and thirty dollars. The nice thing, well I guess maybe, no that's not a model number. The nice thing about this light is that it has a, uh, a selectable color temperature. You've got two different temperature LEDs and you can vary between the two as well as selectable uh, brightness. So flipping it over, as I said I've already taken the screws out so I took this off and then there's this LED panel. And then, uh, let's get this open and see what's in here. In here we've got a lot of wires. So this is the back of the LED panel. You can see they've got some white jumper wires on there. Each individual LED is soldered in. Uh, it says it's a HACUTATS XYFVL312. So this, yeah, there's a 312 light panel. These red wires go down to some kind of circuit board. Um, it looks like masking tape. That's uh, what is that? There is uh, not sure if this how visible this is on the video. There's what looks like appears to be. A chunk of resistor lead or some other kind of through hole component lead stuck to the uh, stuck to the masking tape. Boy, this thing almost looks homemade. Um, so in here we have um, these these are two spring clips holding the batteries. Here's the potentiometers and switches for the uh, intensity and the color temperature. There's a circuit board. Looks like the circuit board has lots of very large uh, surface mount resistors. Um, that kind of looks a little bit hacked in there. This blue resistor has been soldered on. So I have powered it up with the case open and I'm just trying to touch things in here to see if I can make it malfunction. I haven't been able to yet, so maybe it was simply that piece of uh, resistor lead that somehow got set in there. There's the color temperature controls working fine. power switch and the brightness control. Be nice if that uh, fixed it already. It, nothing in here seems to be getting hot which is kind of nice. Um, oh, there something flickered. I wish I could get it to flicker again. Now, what do we have here? So right here is what looks to be some kind of a lead with a poor solder joint. I can kind of actually move the, the lead back and forth. So thinking maybe that is it. 
and we'll just put a dab more solder on that. Okay, I flipped the, uh, I took the screws loose and I flipped the circuit board over so we can take a look at this side of it and we can see, you know, here's the lead that I, that wasn't uh, soldered in good was on this crystal. So that, that could certainly explain why the microcontroller wasn't, uh, why, why it was rebooting or something. Um, looking at the microcontroller itself, it's an STC12C560BAD, uh, bad, um, <laughs> great part number, 351-PD1P2O. The crystal is, uh, looks like a 24 megahertz. So looking on this side of the board, um, there's power jack, there's a button, oh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should unplug it. Uh, there's some capacitors, uh, here's one with some solder that got dripped onto it, let's get rid of that. Lots of uh, inductors, a couple small capacitors on the crystal. These capacitors here, they do seem soldered in reasonably well. Don't see anything wrong uh, with this side of the board. I'm going to hope that bad pin on the crystal was the, uh, was the issue. Okay, I put all the screws back in, and uh, camera light is working. Nothing is uh, flickering. Yeah, I can do a demo of the adjustable color temperature. I kind of like this. So there, I can make it uh, bluish or uh, reddish. That's one of the nice features about this light. I'll see if you can actually see. Yeah, I think you'll actually be able to see how it works on the camera. See, it's just got two sets of LEDs. Turn the control all the way to this side, you get the bluish ones. All the way to that side, you get the reddish ones. And in the middle, you get both. And then the intensity, of course, varies them all. Um, yeah, so assuming we've got it fixed now, I think it's going to be a, uh, a good camera light. But Polaroid, come on. Uh, masking tape. Leftover resistor leads, um, components with bad solder joints, do a little better than that. So it, it says QC passed right there, you see. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.